So you can't possibly have a high performing team if your people aren't invested into personal development. Now that's my genuine belief that if you have a team of people, all of whom are focused on personally and individually being the best that they can possibly be, just imagine then what the aggregated result of that will be for a team. Every single person saying, what is it that I need to do to get better, to become a better uh, version of me, to use a phrase, and then everyone else doing the same. My word, how different might your team look if that's the kind of thing that uh, your team are focused on? So what's the key to that? The key to that is getting personal development plans that people are genuinely uh, engaged in. This isn't something that they're kind of forced to do, it's a bit of paper they need to fill out and they kind of just are trying to put it off for as long as possible. It's something that excites them to say, actually, do you know what? I know where it is that I want to get to in terms of my development, in terms of what's next uh, in, uh, in, my, in my development as a, as a kind of a professional, as a person, and I'm really engaged in the process of what I need to do to get better. So this is something that, that we were doing just last week with a business uh, and really getting their team into their personal development plans. And one of the things that's worthwhile looking at is this very kind of easy to understand uh, formula to say, okay, what is it that we need to do to identify the things that are going to help us to get better? And, and quite simply, what this stands for is, is the first P is your performance is a function of two things, is potential minus interference. So what that, let me restate that in a slightly different way. How we're currently performing right now is actually a function of what we're truly capable of, less all of, in terms of potential, less all of the interference, the stuff that gets in the way from fully accessing the potential that we have. So the thing that I'm kind of keen to impress upon people is, look, performance can always go up because I know for a fact that your potential is considerably higher than what you're currently managing to tap into. And it's because of the interference, some of the things that just prevent you from really doing even better. Now that's going to be, look, I just, I don't have some skills right now. I'm not good at sales. I'm not good at management or, sorry, bad way to frame it. You know, I could be better at sales. I could be better at management. Um, my time management could, could uh, do with it some attention and so on. There'll be a number of things that, that you'll be able to identify that says what gets in the way. You might also be thinking about, okay, what are the things that I'm thinking? What are the, 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 the limiting beliefs that I currently have? What are the, you know, do I, do I suffer from some, some low self-esteem or confidence? Okay, what, what, what's behind all that? What are the barriers to you doing better? And again, really think deeply about what are the things that are getting in the way currently, because the flip of that is, okay, when I overcome those things, when I actually lessen the significance of those interferences, then almost by default, I can get on and do the thing I know I need to do, thereby tapping into more of my potential and therefore increasing performance. So spend time thinking about, okay, right now, based on where I am, what are the things that are preventing me from actually moving forward? And, and be very honest about that. Don't worry about it. Just put it down on paper. Because the whole point of the development plan is to then say, okay, what might the things be that I need to then overturn so that I can get better? The other thing to say in a development plan, of course, is, is look, what are my strengths? What are the things I'm brilliant at that if I was given more time to really leverage those, my performance could really just shoot through the roof as well. So... What I would say is, how about, how about performance equals potential minus interference? It's a nice little thing to, uh, to help you think about the things that will help you put into your development plan so that you can then get better. I hope that's been helpful. Of course, give us a shout if there's any questions at all on this whole subject. Uh, I love helping people become the best that they can possibly be. It's the only way to be. All right, until we meet, good luck in business.